Hey everybody, Mr. Lawrence here. Piano Adventures by Na Nancy and Randall Faber. Uh, this is the primer level, lesson book, page 68. Okay, this song is called Come On Tigers. Boom, there's a quick glimpse of it. Notice these crazy looking things. You should already know these, even if you haven't played them. Okay. And at the top of the page, it explains everything. It talks about the quarter rest. You know, we have the quarter note. Quarter note gets one beat. Well, the quarter rest gets one beat of silence. It's still part of the music. It doesn't mean you stop. It just means you don't play a key. You don't play sound. So look, here we have one, two, three, four. Rest, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four, rest, two, three, four. Once again, make sure this is being played at the same time. Okay. Right hand thumb on middle C. Left, prepare that left hand. Left hand thumb is going to be on G. Okay. None of this is new. The only thing new on here is the quarter note. Okay. This is going to sound like this. Now, I only played this song with my right hand once again because I say in all these videos that my, you know, I'm, I'm going back and forth between hands running my phone. So I didn't play this with both hands, um, like it says right there. Okay, but this is how it would sound if I did play it with both hands. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, that's a quick review of Come On Tigers. Once again, get this in your head. Quarter rest just means you are silent for one beat. Okay, don't let that mess you up. You, count, you just count it like you would quarter notes. You just don't play like you would quarter notes, okay? So I'm going to sign off for now. Have fun with the song. Especially any of you who are Auburn fans, since the song is called Come On Tigers. All right, signing off. Bye.